Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to check out Resurrection Remix, the latest build for the K20 Pro. Now you asked this is Android 10, you've already done it, you've reviewed the ROM, why are you doing it again? Because look at the change log over here. They've done some massive changes and Resurrection Remix for me has been a personal favorite and I thought it does deserve an install and preview yet again especially with a lot of installation steps going on for a lot of different ROMs, we should go ahead and do a quick preview of how it feels. So let's talk about the change ROM. That is what mainly this video is about. I'm pretty sure you guys are experts and you know how to install ROMs, but yeah, just do it. Anyways, uh, change log, bump to 8.6.4, 8 November security patch, big improvements to launcher. See, that's what I'm saying. Lineage OS, Seed Vault, built RR wallpaper app, because why not? Yeah, that's pretty nice. MIUI volume panel, which is good. 26 new FOD animations. New total animation are 57. See that? That's the amount of customization this ROM offers without any major downsides. So that's exciting. Double tap to sleep on default launcher. That's great. Some minor improvements. Check RR, GIT hub or GitHub for more info. Safety net passes without magic, which is nice. Fix yellow tint on first boot. Nice again added touch profiles for gaming and benchmarking note clean flash needed for this build or else you will face force closure as the launcher is having some big changes you have been informed back up your stuff before flashing this build no g apps come in built so flash it separately now before we begin flashing if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video and we do have a telegram channel with some amazing members in the discussion group as well the link is in the description you can go ahead and join us there as well and if you wish to support us you can join one of the memberships it's very very cheap and it comes with a lot of promises now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, as I stated earlier, you have to make sure you have TWRP on an unlocked bootloader on your K20 Pro. Make sure you have all the files that you will need. You will need the firmware, that is the vendor firmware, 12.0.2 or 3 and uh, you will need the rom file which is an obvious and you will need g app so this is android 10 based rom so once you have all of that ready we will begin the flashing process by booting into twrp now to avoid encryption decryption issues i always make sure i do a format data over here so let's go to this particular menu in orange fox that is what i use and go to manage partitions data tick mark format data and type in yes I really love Orange Fox, one of the best TWRP recoveries that I've used in a very, very long time. Now go to reboot and recovery. And once it is back in recovery, we're going to wipe everything, including internal storage. Then we'll flash files from the OTG pen drive as we always do. All right. So go to wipe, Delvic cache system vendor data internal storage. Swipe to wipe. Okay. Now go to the flash menu, select your OTG. Let's see where our files are, K20 Pro. Okay, this is the firmware, add to Q, and then we're gonna select Resurrection Remix, add to Q, and open G Apps ARM64 Nano, that is the one I use, swipe to confirm flash. And this flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes, so please be patient. All right, so as you can see, the ROM has been flashed, so we will just do wipe caches, and reboot system so now what we've basically done is we've flashed resurrection remix the latest version with a lot of improvements and hopefully a lot of new features at least a lot of new fod animations that is what is mentioned in this particular description so the boot animation as always uh, has amazed me for resurrection remix so let's wait for it to boot up and let's see how good the rom actually looks and how different it is all right, now as you can see, we are on the home screen for Resurrection Remix. The boot was relatively quick compared to some other Android 11 ROMs. That's for obvious reasons. Now, if you go to the About Phone section and select Android version 10, you will see that this is Resurrection Remix 8.6.4. It's an official build with a November security patch, and the vendor security patch, which is from Xiaomi, is June 1, 2020. Now, if we talk about the smoothness, Resurrection Remix for me has been a very, very smooth ROM always. And 
and you do get a few applications a little more than what you would get in a few other custom ROMs. You do have audio effects, browser, the camera, the basic camera application is included. You do have a file manager, a email client, Play Store of course is there because we did Flash G apps and if you see you don't really have a black theme preloaded but I believe you can always go ahead and put it in dark mode so that works really really well what is actually available is the configurations menu and this is where the ROM shines now we would not go completely in depth of this particular ROM like how we would in a complete review but because this is a major update I would show you around what you can expect in resurrection remix now you do have status bar customization panel customization system customization like accent picker and you do have interface lock screen animations miscellaneous everything can be customized you can see there is smart charging available as well so all in all this rom is a customization heaven if you would ask me that is something really really nice and now that this particular rom has matured so much on the k20 pro i would recommend if you want to you know have a rom which gives you a lot of customization and features this is one of the roms that you should definitely definitely try now if you remember in the change log they did mention that there are huge changes to the launcher itself you can set up the icons home screen app drawer and you have miscellaneous options wherein you can rotate the home screen and all the other stuff so yeah the launcher is optimized you do have the google now feed to the left if you can see the snappiness it is there now the reason i'm making some videos on android 10 custom roms even now although a lot of android 11 roms have already come the reason for that is android 10 custom roms have now matured for this particular device you can almost pick up any mainstream rom which gets an update once a month at least and that would be ready to be used as a daily driver another plus side of using an android 10 based custom rom you can just slap ANX camera on this and you should be good to go. So all in all, a Resurrection Remix with this particular update as far as the install and preview point of view is concerned, it is really, really good to go. In detail, if you want a review of this particular update, let me know in the comment section. But for now, this was a quick preview of Resurrection Remix latest version for the Redmi K20 Pro. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.